good evening audience welcome back to another episode of we's love the language i hope you guys are doing well keeping good health and observing strictly the covid protocol the situation is improved but it is not the safest we can say it was not like the earlier serious condition now slightly relaxed our life is generally moving back to normalcy fine but don't take anything for granted don't be careless when you interact with others keep safe distance well we have finished tenses and i told you many times the importance of learning tenses properly the importance of being thorough with the tenses appropriately because once your tenses are not strong you wouldn't be able to communicate properly when you speak something you will falter you try to explain something you will fumble for words your mind is full but nothing will come out because you are afraid that when i speak i will falter because i am not strong at tenses okay don't worry if your tenses are not strong because especially those who are junior layman to english grammar they are at the learning stage beginners they have to learn a lot apply their mind you have to go through my episodes previous previous episodes maybe two or three times if required don't worry i am going to give you a situation wherein you will have to explain in two to three sentences maybe maximum four sentences like this uh three or four weeks i will take you through unless i am sure that you are thorough with the tenses you will get practice how to form sentences and you will have to spot the tenses used in those sentences i am not going to help you out in this regard because again and again if i take you through the tenses and explaining what tense is this what tense is used in this sentence again i will be going back to back to square one i will not be able to move forward definitely i will move forward along with you okay so here is the situation you are late to the class your professor is a tough guy he or she is asking you the explanation professor is asking you yes why are you late you are about to step into the class you are at the door step you are stopped why are you late first you explain and then i will decide whether to let you in or out good sir this is how you address your professor either sir or ma'am madam or as per your you know school college protocol but this is typical indian style your first sentence sir or ma'am i was not well at night so i had medications i was tired and got up late a bigger explanation is not expected from a plus 1 or plus 2 student junior college goer this explanation is enough to satisfy your professor i was not well at night 
so i had medications i was tired and got up late in the morning so it's very clear got up late in the morning probably you missed your regular bus probably you couldn't catch your regular convenience whatever your school bus or or auto rickshaw or any other form of travel well it's clear only three sentences crispy small sentences making the reasons very clear your professor has to be convinced with these reasons okay i was not well at night some professors say okay no problem if you are not well at night okay no problem that that's enough get in sometimes you will have to add up another two sentences so i had medications i was tired and got up late this is enough okay this is a very simple situation i have given you i will take you through one more situation today and by experience i think everyone knows giving medical reason is the is the hit reason when you got a medical problem for being late or for failing to perform some duty when you say i was ill my child was ill somebody was not keeping well at home i think that's well begun it's it's a it's the most uh, popular reason quoted by people for being late well the second situation you are an executive in an office senior executive and there is a there is a presentation in the morning today uh involving all hods and you have to arrange everything okay you are the person you have to ensure that the the conference hall is in proper format the it uh, equipments in place systems in place everything is working fine ac is working fine and at 9:30 you have to give a ready report to your head sir the conference hall is ready uh, for the meeting for the presentation but unfortunately you are late and your head is furious he is asking you why are you late what will you say first of all you are puzzled you are not in a right frame of mind you because you know you committed a mistake knowingly or unknowingly knowingly probably nobody would commit any mistake nobody would come late to the office knowingly but maybe a situational pressure because of which we all get to office one day or other so when you are asked why are you late it was such an important program important session important duty in the office and you are late you responsible guy probably your head is losing his cool say sir again in some offices we address by name so it's up to the protocol of the office sir or madam whatever again my father is first sentence sir or madam or you follow the office protocol my father is a sick person good yesterday night my father is a sick person yesterday night his bp blood pressure suddenly elevated okay third sentence he was
he was taken to hospital well such an important duty in the office and if you are late you have to give a solid reason you can't give some silly reason and expect to get away my father is a sick person yesterday night his bp blood pressure suddenly elevated he was taken to hospital and probably the last and fourth sentence we came back late in the night and i couldn't sleep i think this explanation is enough but the point is my focus is different what is my focus you have to spot the tenses used in these sentences and get the rule otherwise explanation wise it is good correct it should satisfy your boss my father is a sick person yesterday night suddenly his blood pressure elevated he was taken to hospital we came back late in the night and i couldn't sleep good hope you understood we will have more and more situations like this in the coming weeks unless i am sure that you are thorough with the tenses well that's all from the dust today have a nice time be careful about your health take care it's bye from a bye good night